Hi folks and welcome to another video here of Battlefield 5. Now today what we're going to be doing, I'm just going to be having a little chat about the upcoming December 4th patch that is due to hit us. Now I've been playing Battlefield for, since it's come out and I am thoroughly enjoying the game. Yes it has a lot of bugs and maybe some tweaking that needs to take place but overall I'm actually very impressed. It kind of feels a bit more like the Battlefield 3 fast pace, yeah that's go sort of attitude to the game which is incredibly immersive and incredibly enjoyable so so far great thumbs up great thanks but thanks dice for a fantastic game now like the dice like the dice team promised, they were going to stay very proactive in, in the updates for Battlefield 5 and have that continued support. And so far they have been absolutely fantastic. They've been very active on Twitter and very active on Reddit, just explaining and helping people out and telling people what is up and coming. But at the same time, they are keeping us in suspense with a lot of the things that could potentially come in. Now, the patch that is due to hit on the 4th of December is going to be a big one. Now, we have got a few things that have been directly confirmed by the devs. Um, so we'll have a quick chat about them. And then I'm going to scoop into the recon class and have a chat about them. Now, the recon class itself has not had any confirmed changes however the community have been incredibly active in giving feedback and changes that they believe should take place so what I'm going to do I'm going to express so I've, I've read through them all and I have gathered about four things in the recon class that have been talked about a, a lot so whether these get changed we'll look we'll have to wait and see but the amount of chatter that's going on about them i think the devs must have paid some attention and at least looked into the things that we've talked about so let's start off then with the confirmed material that is going to happen or confirmed changes that are going to happen to battlefield 5. the first thing that is confirmed is that we are getting some new maps we are having the tides of war single player map add-on and we are getting the tanks the german tank approach through belgium which happened in the early stages of world war ii it's set to be i've heard loads of chatter about it and people that have actually had an opportunity to see it and they're all saying it looks absolutely amazing so that is definitely something to look forward to uh, other thing that's coming in is the Panzer Storm multiplayer map. Now this map, again, I haven't seen it myself, but I've heard lots of chatter and it's a big open map, which is nice, mainly concentrating on vehicle and aerial warfare. However, there should, there is a place, I say should, but there is a place for infantry in this map. Um, but being the map being so open, I'm not sure where we're coming to play. Um, I guess that's something we'll have to wait and see. But this could be a good opportunity for the, the recon class spotting scope to come into play. Where you hang back and you do a lot of spotting of all the tanks to be able to help your team tanks take the advantage. Uh, other things that are coming into, into the game is that of the practice range. Now the practice range is potentially also going to have a multiplayer mode which allows you to go into the same practice range as your mates and you can mess about, practice, do your tactics and so forth and that which is actually going to be good fun. And we shall have to wait and see what happens there. Uh, other things that are coming are vehicle customizations so you'll be able to add fancy paintworks to your planks, tanks and your planes and so forth it's like your customer characterization customization but for the planes and the vehicles uh, we have also got a load of new weapons coming in the only one that i have seen to be confirmed is that of the vickers k machine gun and that is pretty much it now they have confirmed some other changes that are going to take place and that includes the smgs getting tweaked and looked into because apparently they're exceptionally weak uh, i haven't used them myself um so i don't really know much about that side of things so that's pretty much it from the confirmed side of things. So now I'm going to look at the recon class. And like I said at the beginning of the video, very little has 
actually, if anything, being confirmed to have any changes to the recon craft. However, the community has been exceptionally proactive when it comes to the recon class on both Reddit and Twitter, leaving their feedback of changes they think should take place. Um, I have managed to figure out about four things through it all that have been talked about the most. Uh, one of those things is that of the problem with the ADS. Um, when you're not in ADS mode, you can see quite far across the map. But the second you ADS onto a target, it's almost like you get a mental block and you can't see past a certain point. Um, it's not a blur, it's more of a fog. I know it was something mentioned about the DOF settings, but that doesn't seem to change it. So whether that's a bug, I do not know. Um, I'm hoping so, and I'm hoping that will get changed with the patch. Uh, a couple of other things that have been mentioned is one of them is the spotting flare. Now the spotting flare has been said to be pretty lame really and unlike the Battlefield 1 where it was actually very good, very prominent, it had a nice area of coverage. Um, in Battlefield 5 it, they've taken a different approach where it floats down from the sky and can be shot out of the sky. Now the, um, the talk is, is that the, the area that it covers is not very large. Um, personally, I tried I tried the spotting flares, and when I saw how little effect they had, I've stopped using them. Um, and that's a shame, really, because that is such a, a big and useful tool for the recon class. Um, so hopefully, some that will get looked into, and maybe take an approach of where it gets a lot larger at the beginning or whatnot. Um, we'll wait and have to wait and see until the patch notes are released. Um, something else that is being a major discussion point uh, throughout Reddit and Twitter is that of the scope glint. Now the scope glint at the present at the present is very mm, imbalanced. It's not right at the minute, and I think it's something personally that I would like to see him to have a look at. On the six times scope, yes, it should be very prominent and seen from every angle. However, particularly with the recon class on the three times scope, it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, of course, if you're using a smaller scope, it generally means that you want to be a bit more involved in the game, and yet you're lighting up like Batman's beacon whenever you ADS. Now, I know people are saying that you should be in and out quite quickly, but unfortunately, the, the speed of the game here is it, it's almost impossible. You need to be in for quite a few seconds to get your to get your scope right. Um, so what I'm what I'm hoping is that the scope glint will be removed for the three times scope um, and brought in line with the other classes that have access to the three times scope as well, such as the Guer or the, the M14. That weapon are, are essentially sniper rifles and you chuck a three times scope in them and there's no glare. Um, so either they need to put the glare on that or remove it from the sniper class. Um, Personally, I would like to see them remove it and just to bring a bit more balance and a bit more stealth is allowed with the recon class. I can hope. I can only hope that that is something that they're definitely going to look into. Or at least it's a lot dimmer on the free time scope. I know other people have mentioned about it. You can't see the glint unless you're directly looking. That sniper is directly looking at you in particular. But I can't imagine that being being tweaked into that method i believe it will either be there or it won't or it'll be gone um we'll have to wait and see what happens with the patch notes and the final thing that has been mentioned that i'm maybe not overly keen on is the the community are asking for a damage model change they believe that the Raycon class and the sniper rifles are a bit weak yes it takes two hits to kill but the headshot meat the, the headshot area has been increased to accommodate and to give you more chance of getting a headshot, which I believe is fair. Um, two hits, yeah, you could you can take a target down. Um, maybe increase the transfer between the transfer speed between the rifle and the pistol, or maybe just buffing the pistols a little bit just to make them that bit more powerful. So you can do the the sniper follow through pistol in time before you're you're more down by most people using the MG, the Sten, or the MP40. Um, 
but we'll see what happens there. Personally, I think it's it's right at the minute and it should remain as it is. But the community have mentioned about it quite a lot. So it's something that's potentially been looked at and could be seen to be changing with all the weapons that are getting reworked. Um, and so we, we'll just have to wait and see. Now I will do another video when uh, the patch notes are released and give you a fuller and better update of the recon class in particular on what changes have happened or didn't happen. And um, it would be nice to hear what the, what you guys think of what um, could potentially happen to them or what happened to them after the patch notes are released. Um, so that's pretty much it for me here today guys i apologize for the length of this video but there was a lot of discussion and a lot of information to put out there um of course there's still loads more that i have missed out um feel free to add and let's start a conversation or you, you're more than welcome to come onto one of my streams and we can have a chat about what we think will happen to the recon class or where we think they are or whether we should leave them alone and just let them be at this state where they're maybe a bit imbalanced um but let me know what you think um anyway guys that's it for me today uh thank you very much for tuning in i hope the information i delivered is maybe within what you expected to hear um feel free to leave me a comment or a, a comment below and let's have a chat about uh, what we think is going to happen to them but for now guys thanks for tuning in um and i will speak to you again soon Happy gaming. Bye for now.